this world has seen four major revolutions that changed its entire face. Now the first revolution was in 1784 when the first steam engine was introduced and then in 1870 the second revolution that is electricity was invented. The third one was in 1969 when the word information technology was introduced in the world and finally the fourth one is the revolution of artificial intelligence which we are experiencing right now. The future of AI holds more inventions that will bring us closer to an unparalleled future. And in today's session, we will talk about the future of artificial intelligence and what it's gonna unfold. Now, before we begin the session, let's have a look at today's agenda. So first, we will see how artificial intelligence has evolved since the beginning. So we'll talk about the evolution of AI. And then we will move on and talk about the beginning of the AI revolution and from where it all began. And then moving on to the next topic, we will talk about all the recent AI inventions. And finally, we will discuss about the future of artificial intelligence and what more is going to come up. So let's get started. So talking about the evolution of AI, artificial intelligence makes it possible for machines to learn from experience adjust to new inputs and perform human-like tasks. Now the earliest research into thinking machines was inspired by a confluence of ideas that became a prevalent in the late 1930s, 40s and also the early 1950s. So let's have a look at the evolution of this life-changing technology from the early 50s to the present date. Now in 1950, Alan Turing devised the Turing test. Now, if a machine could carry on a conversation that was indistinguishable from a conversation with a human being, then it was reasonable to say that the machine was thinking. Then in 1956 to 74, it was called as the golden era for AI. So the Webot project in 1967 built a robot that could measure distances and directions to objects using external receptors, artificial eyes and ears. And its conversation system also allowed it to communicate with a person in Japanese with an artificial mouth. Next, in the 1980s, a form of AI program called the Expert Systems was adopted by corporations around the world and knowledge became the focus of mainstream AI research. A new paradigm called the Intelligent Agents became widely accepted during the 1990s. Now it is a system that perceives its environment and takes actions that maximize its chance of success. Now in the first decades of the 21st century, access to large amounts of data, faster computers and advanced machine learning techniques was successfully applied to many problems throughout the economy. And by 2016, the market for AI related products, hardware and software reached more than $8 billion. Not just that, the New York Times reported that interest in AI had reached a turmoil and the worldwide spending on AI systems estimated to reach around $35.8 billion in 2019, an increase of 44% over 2018 and to more than double to $79.2 billion in 2022. So the growth and evolution of AI is definitely a continuous process and it's enormous. Now, before we start talking about the future of AI, let's have a look at the creative inventions done in the past which involves AI. Now, the beginning of the AI revolution was from the 1950s. From then, many scientists, programmers, logicians and theorists started in solidifying the modern understanding of artificial intelligence as a whole. With each new decade, there were new innovations and findings that changed people's fundamental knowledge of the field of artificial intelligence. Also, it showed how historical advancements have catapulted AI from being an unattainable fantasy to a tangible reality for current and future generations. Now, some of the important advancements throughout the history of AI, George Shannon, the father of information theory, published Programming a Computer for Playing Chess which was the first article to discuss the development of a chess playing computer game. Not just that, Unimate, an industrial robot, was also invented by George Duvall in the 1950s. Now talking about the 1960s, in 1965, Joseph, a computer scientist and professor, developed ELISA, an interactive computer program that could functionally converse in English with a person. 
It blurted out canned lines for certain keywords using programmed scripts. The next phase was the 1970s. Now this phase witnessed the advancements particularly focusing on robots and automatons. Now the Wabot 1, the first anthropomorphic robot was built in Japan at Waseta University. Now its features included movable limbs, ability to see and the ability to converse. Now in 1980s the growth of artificial intelligence continued and Wabot 2 was built at Waseda University. This inception of the Wabot allowed the humanoid to communicate with people as well as read musical scores and play music on an electronic organ. Then came the 1990s. Now in 1995 computer scientist Richard Wallace developed the chatbot Alice inspired by Eliza. Also, Deep Blue, a chess playing computer, was developed by IBM in 1997. Now, in 2000, Professor Cynthia developed Kismet, a robot that could recognize and simulate emotions with its face. It was structured like a human face with eyes, lips, eyelids, and eyebrows. Not just that, in 2009, Google secretly developed a driverless car, and by 2014, it passed Nevada's self driving test as well. So these were some of the advancements and achievements of artificial intelligence in the past. The current decade has been immensely important for AI innovation. So let's have a look at how artificial intelligence changed our lives in the recent decade. Now the current decade has been immensely important for AI innovations. In recent years, artificial intelligence has become embedded in our day-to-day -day existence. We use smartphones that have voice assistance and computers that have intelligence functions. AI is no longer a pipe dream. So let's talk about some of AI's achievements in this decade. Now in 2010, ImageNet launched the ImageNet Large Scale Visual Recognition Challenge. Also, Microsoft launched Kinect for Xbox 360, the first gaming device that tracked human body movement using a 3D camera and infrared detection. In 2011, Apple released Siri, a virtual assistant on Apple iOS operating systems. Siri depends on a natural language user interface to infer, observe, answer, and recommend things to its human user. It adapts the voice commands and projects an individualized experience for the users. Then in 2012, Two Google researchers trained a large neural network of 16,000 processors to recognize images of cats by showing it 10 million unlabeled images from YouTube videos. Now in the year 2014, Microsoft released Cortana, their version of a virtual assistant similar to Siri on iOS. Also, Amazon created Amazon Alexa, a home assistant that developed into smart speakers that function as personal assistants. Now talking about the year between 2015 to 2017, Google DeepMind's AlphaGo, a computer program that plays the board game Go, defeated various human champions. Not just that, in 2016, a humanoid robot named Sophia was created by Hanson Robotics. She is the first robot citizen. With her ability to see, make facial expressions, and communicate through AI, Sophia has more human-like features when compared to the other humanoids. And finally, in 2018, Google developed BERT, the first bi-directional unsupervised language representation that can be used on a variety of natural language tasks using transfer learning. And also, Samsung introduced Bixby, a virtual assistant. Its functions include voice, where the user can speak to and ask questions, recommendations, and suggestions. Now, artificial intelligence advancements are occurring at an unprecedented rate. Thus, we can expect that the trends from the past decade will continue swinging upward in the coming years. So now that we have seen how artificial intelligence has evolved throughout the years, let's move on to the future of AI and find out how it continues to act as a technological innovator. Now in the last 10 years, artificial intelligence has changed the world in subtle but sweeping ways. Voice recognition on every smartphone was a simple proof of concept. Over the next 10 years, artificial intelligence will make more progress than in the 50 before it combined. With countless quickly oncoming applications to business, government and personal life, its influence will soon touch absolutely every aspect of our lives.
So talking about the first one, it's the medical diagnosis. Now complementing a doctor's human intuition with the precision and completeness of AI could be one of the greatest revolutions in healthcare. The simple fact is that the human race has produced an excess understanding of human health than any one human brain can usefully contain. Thus, AI can start to outperform even the best human doctors. Then we have the financial services sector. Now it is fun to watch the bankers get automated into unemployment, but the real win is when the AI takes over. Right now the financial services sector has a lot to do with why the rich gets richer. They can afford to hire more and better financial help to manage the money they have. With AI, especially open source fintech solutions, it could be possible to change personal finance to put it on a much more even playing field. Then we have the translation and linguistics. Now to an extent, real-time machine translation already exists from major tech companies like Skype and Microsoft. But other research bodies like Google and even DARPA are looking to take the idea ahead. Currently, machines can only try to translate about 100 of the world's more than 7,000 languages. Whether it's the military or international corporations or just regular old academia, someone is going to use AI to push real-time translation forward so that we can communicate better. Then we also have the sports training. Now AI might design the perfect offensive formation, but the human players in acting that plan have to have the necessary skills. Here, modern machine learning algorithms can help. Partly, it's just a matter of collecting data in wider contexts through smart golf clubs and basketballs and baseball bats. Also, AI could provide more active feedback by watching your swing to offer corrections. Not just that, AI could also change the world of paying for anything. Now, this technology can save an incredible amount of time. Advanced AI face recognition algorithms will soon be quick enough and cheap enough to support millions of transactions per day. But machine learning can teach a computer to recognize more than faces. For example, Wells Fargo and others plan to secure some financial transactions with equally advanced biometric analysis of a user's voice. Not just that, artificial intelligence is also going to change your experience of shopping. Amazon is already working to make physical shopping even less hassle than online. This is only possible with the help of artificial technology. Online shopping algorithms are a dime a dozen these days, but one fascinating project from Pinterest could expand the idea to the physical world. The prediction will also play a bigger role than ever, as the companies use AI to suggest the perfect product to shoppers and to make sure that the product is stocked up back at the warehouse. The next interesting thing is that photographs can become purchases. So have you ever clicked a picture of a product so that you can look for something similar in the stores? Amazon, the giant e-commerce platform, has already incorporated a visual search option on its mobile application. So all you need to do is just take a photo of the item you want and it will show you something very similar or identical. And you can buy it right away with just a photograph. Not just that, running a business is also going to be simpler with AI. In the coming decades, the world's best CEOs might just be robots. If management is the process of noticing and properly assigning talent, then an AI might well be better able to do that. Now there is another theory that AI might make people so capable of organizing on their own that managers will become less important and one can run their business just with the technology. AI is also entering the political field, so it can also be used in political analysis. Now the advantage of AI lies in its ability to predict the future beyond political victories and losses. The larger implications of AI lie in decision and policy making. Now with the rise of AI startups and increased dialogue around policy making, the arrival of AI politicians is not a big surprise. While constitutions and laws across the world prohibit non-humans from contesting elections, there is a severe dearth of laws defining the moral and ethical implications of the usage of AI in the political and public space. And finally, we have sports strategizing. 
Now, considering the nearly infinite variability of human behavior and ingenuity on the field and rink, it seems that artificial intelligence could soon design all new strategies for even the world's best studied sports. The beautiful game has been successfully broken down and understood in its basic principles by a machine learning algorithm and according to the inventor of that algorithm. It should apply quite well to other sports like basketball and hockey. Now these were just a few out of the many sectors which will be taken over by artificial intelligence in the coming years. And with this we have come to the end of our session and I hope you have understood what the future of AI holds and where else it's going to expand. And I hope you understood the contribution of AI over the years and how it's going to rule over almost every sector. So don't forget to let us know about your opinion in the comment section below. Till then, thank you and happy learning.